Um. Bruno? Bruno? Can you check my stream and check the settings of my sound? Yeah, I just need to check if it's too loud or too low or whatever. Yeah, it's live. Well, I just went live, so it might not be on there. It's just uh, sing underscore sing at Twitch TV. Just listen to the mic, see if it's loud enough or not. I hope it is, because there's nothing else I can do. I do. It's fine. Good! It's time to kill shit then. I actually have no idea what this game is about, so it's gonna be good. Nightmare. Why? First that Call of Juarez game, and now this game. Why can't you pick the hardest difficulty from the fucking start? This game is called Alan Wake. It's a psych... I don't know if it's good. Like, I mean, there's so many mixed reviews. Stephen King wants to fuck you, Stephen King. Exist yeah, like outside King. of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Great. I play as a writer. Fucking gonna kill people with, with a fucking pen. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. Sucks for him. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode 1, I was in Nightmare. Shock crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Okay, I need to up my own volume a little bit. Wow, I can't see my own mouse. Hello, oh, this my is name is Mikhail Holy Kosovinen, and fuck, I'm the lead game is... designer of Alan Wake. This is a video game commentary that spans throughout the whole game. Commentators will appear like this on the screen every time there's something that we like to talk about. But be aware that this uh, commentary is full of spoilers. If you haven't played the game... No! No spoilers! <laughs> fuck off! Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck? I had no idea what video commentary was. I didn't realize there's actually gonna be some fucking guy popping up and then spoiling the fucking game for me. Like, what the fuck? How many games have that? Yeah, fuck off, you... How do you move? Look up to the light. Reverse your control flu. No. This is fine. Very sensitive though. Controls. Sensitivity. Controller. I don't think this is actually gonna work on my mouse, but. Nope. Uh, it's super sensitive. Oh, it's that. I didn't realize that was a sensitivity. Oh, what the fuck? It says it's right there! Jesus fucking Christ. I should really read more. No, fuck, no! Oh, why do people put a back button like. What? I don't even know what's going on. 
I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me. Oh, so soft. Can't do anything. Bing, bing. That's ah, better. How do I melee the people? The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Delicious coffee. No, I don't want to see this. Ask no, the, skip. I how? I knew there Enter. Was no. Oh. For me there. How do I spin? Shift. Shift. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Move camera. How do I move the camera to the left? Because I actually do want the camera to the left. Direct aiming. No. It's a keybind. Tap. Opa! This is so fucking awkward. I don't know. You're dead. What are you doing here? You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Think you're God? Ugh. You think you can just make up stuff, Ugh. play with people's lives, and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Ugh. What's my dick? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories. Missing. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any artistic merit. I don't care. You missed your deadline. You can dodge enemy attacks. Shift plus. You can't stop me. Very hard dodge. Very hard dodge. I only had a. I realized that oh, the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. I was thinking it said like shift plus touch this piece. Die by the hands of your own. Please. Friendly. Oh, I'm out of breath. Jump! It's not faster! Be in this house anymore. Shit is creepy as fuck. Tom the poet. 
It's the guy from Power Strike. It's a big daddy. Look at that. Am I supposed to leave? Okay, I leave. Follow the light. Follow the light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. You must go into the light. Well done. Powered I have something light. important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green. Where waves are both wilder and more serene. See to its face. ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Oh, 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 fucking keep me in a dick. Jesus. Gun! Revolver ammo. Pick up revolver ammo. There's no fucking revolver! The f- Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. It's like Metro last night. The scorpions. <laughs> you did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Bam! 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 Holy shit. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Just fucking leave. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. What kind of gun is this? I shot him in the head like six times or something. And he just shrugged it off. This battery is fucked up, by the way. Oh, it regenerates, I see. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Sucks for him. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, I have to shoot him. BAM! This is it, bitch! No. Fuck. Should've dodged. How do I win this? I don't have enough light? Game is horrible. Can't aim in this game. It's like fucking all the way or something. Open. Flag gun. Yeah. S use one to switch weapons and throwables. Oh shit! What the fuck? I wasn't watching. Ah shit, flag on just like me. Right, a flag on. I should probably run this way. Actually, I do want to see the left side. Okay, no left side. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't realize. Was going to be what the fuck was that? Jesus, guys, it's battles here.
No blocking! house. He's here. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck, I hate little girls. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Welcome to Bright Falls. What the fuck? Oh, Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments fuck before he got bitch. eaten by a bear. And my boss. Jump! Damn yuppies. Uh, hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear just that, honey? a couple more. You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, uh, I'm Pat Main. By the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Who is this? Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Mays, I'm on vacation. In fact, no, no, I'd appreciate speak. it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely... Oh my god! So much lore that I don't care about. Is this even going forward? Fresh seafood. V car or V sound. Whatever. Smoked fish. Very good town. Very nice. Very I nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Wife or mother? Jesus. Yeah. Hey Ben, What's up? How's my Alan Wake. Writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know Guns. he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text oh, message from Barry. The last he says hi to you too. Okay. Good day to you This too. guy's going to toil on me. Alan, this fucking guy right here. I should just push him down right now. Get back to the car. Which car is mine? This is my car. City car. Yeah. 
We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Mother or wife? Alan. Oh, fuck. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. What? Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for. She wants his dick. Wait. Look at oh, that face. I am your Holy biggest shit. fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm That's the most I want you a dick face no, I've ever seen in my life. I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky. Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my You'll God, those eyes. I can't believe She's it. She's ripping you. I got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Exactly. Well, okay. Good for you. Ah, uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have Stupid gone to sleep. Bad mm, circulation. Coffee. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the this key and get out of the This is one scary ass toilet area. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always like, did. Like, what kind of toilet area is this fucking dark? Hello, Mr. Stucky. Carl couldn't make it. Dude, what the fuck? Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. And this... I insist. Like, this doesn't... Thanks. You know, make him wonder, like, is it legit? Oh, shit, she's actually still there. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You want my dick? I don't know, man. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Cat Prince. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hungry. It swells up. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lot. Bye, Mr. Wake. <laughs> Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Why would you bring flashlights, hey, just in case? Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way.
I bought this wow. game from the Humble Bumble, whatever it's, it's something, called. Alright. That's good, actually. Don't worry, it. I'll get you inside safe and sound like, before sweet. it gets dark. Sweet, it's a polar game. I only have to pay like five dollars or whatever it was. Alice had a phobia. Or the fear of darkness. Whatever, I, I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, what the fuck? You have to do something. I was like, what the fuck? It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Good thing I have a flashlight. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? More coffee! Very scary house. What are you doing here? It's a house. You're a deer. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <laughs> what the fuck? That, that sound actually fucking scared me, like, that was really loud. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box what the or fuck? a generator somewhere on the island. <laughs> like, seriously, I was actually scared there for a second. I, I get fucking scared from, like, just dark images of women. It's fucking creepy, man. I don't even the want cabin to enter looked here. Like a time capsule like, I'm gonna get another one of those flashes and it's fucking... It's gonna be fucking gay. Nothing here. You want to fix lights? You could, you go downstairs to the generators or whatever. The fuck is this? Since when it is the open? Birds. The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. I mean, there's probably invisible walls blocking you from jumping down the water. Oh wow, they actually were. What the fuck? There wasn't one at the bridge at the start and I just jumped off like what the fuck. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. The power cable goes to that shed over there. What shed? What are you doing, kidding? Isn't this a door? Fuck is the door? Everything. Oh, this is the door. Everything looks the same. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Very hard. To the lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. The island sure had once been the Have site fun. for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Just cut them off. <laughs> it was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work.